and plan exploratory surgery. But around 4 a.m. on Thursday, January 9th, Morris Gibb goes into cardiac arrest. Resuscitation team rushed to Morris's aid. Okay. Stand back. <laughs> Powerful shocks from a defibrillator managed to restart his heart. But Gibbs life still hangs in the balance. He's rushed straight into the operating room. His condition markedly worsened and required immediate medical intervention. I'd first be looking for something like a catastrophic hemorrhage or an issue with his intestine. Gibb now undergoes exploratory surgery. His doctors decide to look at his intestine for some kind of blockage. Intestinal blockages can be caused by many different factors, often a complication of Crohn's or bowel cancer. But in all cases, this condition is potentially life-threatening. In the operating room, the surgeons discover Morris does have an intestinal blockage, but it's an extremely unusual type. He's found to have a malrotated small intestine. This is a condition which Morris would have had since birth. As the baby develops in the womb, the small intestine develops outside of the body at the base of the umbilical cord. The small intestine then performs a complex rotation to position itself correctly back into the body. If something goes wrong during this process, then the small intestine will move into an abnormal location, and this is known as malrotation. Undiagnosed, malrotated intestine can twist, and that can cause intense pain. Mild rotation is normally corrected in infancy. The chances that an adult finds that they still have this is one in a million. Undiagnosed mild rotation can be incredibly dangerous. The intestine can twist at any time, choking off blood flow to the bowel. Most people have no idea that they have it until it puts their health in grave jeopardy. Morris's pain at the diner and eventual collapse at home occurred when without warning, his intestines started to twist. His gut was effectively strangling itself, cutting off the blood supply to part of his intestine and starving it of oxygen. The twisting can happen extremely fast over a course of an hour or so. When it does, there's a short window in which to operate before the intestine starts to die. The affected part of the intestine must be removed quickly or it will result in death. Morris's doctors need to act fast. January 9th, 2003, 4 a.m. Mount Sinai Hospital, Miami. Having suffered a cardiac arrest, Morris Gibb is now in surgery for a life-threatening intestinal blockage caused by a condition he'd unknowingly lived with since birth. Medical examiner Dr. Michael Hunter is trying to find out whether this congenital condition caused Gibbs death. When the intestine dies, it can't recover. And if it's not removed quickly, that will lead to fatal consequences. The surgeons act fast, removing the affected parts of Gibbs' small intestine. With this underlying problem resolved, Morris's abdomen is sewn up and he's sent to the recovery room. It is perfectly feasible to live without part of your intestine. The healthy ends can be sewn back together, and you can live a perfectly normal life. Friday, January 10th, 2003. Older brother Barry Gibb joins the family. Morris is in a coma, but he's showing signs of recovery. There are even reports that he wiggles his toes and squeezes his daughter's hand. A hospital spokesperson announces that Morris is in a critical but stable condition. 
Over in the UK, his twin brother Robin is confident things are looking up. He's just stable, he's critical but stable. We've got our fingers crossed. That's, that's the latest update. Morris's progress over the next 72 hours is closely monitored. And his family still believe he's showing signs of improvement. Saturday, January 11th, 2003, late afternoon. Two days after the emergency surgery, Robin Gibb arrives from the UK. Hopeful that Morris will soon come out of his coma, Robin joins Barry and Morris's family in a bedside vigil. All they can do is wait and hope he'll recover. But by early evening, there are concerns that Morris's vital signs are weakening. Around 11 p.m., the doctors tell the family that Morris is showing little brain activity and is only being kept alive artificially. They now make the heartbreaking decision to switch off the life support machine. At 10 minutes past midnight on Sunday, January 12th, Morris Gibb dies. <laughs> Musicians, friends and fans have been lining up to pay tribute to the...